Hello everyone. Welcome to PS Galaxy. Have you ever thought how difficult it would be to survive even for a day without water or food? What if the taps in your neighborhood run dry and there is no water in your house? What if a flood or landslide wash away the fertile soil leaving the land barren and unproductive? These questions are alarming, but they make us aware of how important these life-sustaining natural resources are. Excessive use of natural resources will have a negative impact on socioeconomic system. Talking of this resource, it brings me to our topic today and we begin with the second chapter of geography, land, soil and water resources. We will discuss how they are distributed in different parts of the world, what are their characteristics, how useful they are to us, the problem associated with them and of course giving them importance we shall discuss ways to conserve and to sustain them too. We shall understand these natural resources one by one, beginning with land. Now here is something interesting and surprising. Do you know that 90% of the world's population occupies only 30% of the available land area? Is that a hopeful statement? Well, we will find out soon. But the remaining 70% of the land is either sparsely populated or there is no life on it. It may sound unbelievable that so many of us, in fact billions of us, live on the planet Earth. But it is surprisingly true that we cover just 30% and land is among the most important natural resources. It covers only about 30% of the total area of the Earth's surface and 70% is covered with water. Moreover, all these 30% are not habitable. This means that the distribution of population or life are uneven in different parts of the world. Now, what has led to such an uneven distribution? Let me tell you, it is mainly due to various characteristics of land and climate. The rugged topography, which refers to rocky or rough land or studied related to land seen in different parts of the world, make it difficult for human life to thrive in these places. Steep slopes of the mountain, low-laying areas prone to water logging, desert areas where water scarcity is a constant problem. Thickly forest areas are among the sparsely populated or inhabited region. On the other hand, the plains and river valleys offer suitable land, favorable climate condition, and of course, sufficient water for agriculture and other human activities. And that is why these are densely populated areas of the world. A lot of people live in groups and communities in these areas. Now let's see how land is utilized or used by people. Now take a look at this picture here. This is Salberg in Austria. Can you see how the land here is used in many different ways? Take a close look. Use one for building houses, two for agriculture, three grazing animals and so much more. So you see land is used for different purposes. Let me say it again. It is used for agriculture, forestry, mining, building houses and roads and even setting up of industry. And these activities are termed as land use. But does every country utilize land for all these purposes? Its uses is determined by its physical factors. Different communities have different land use pattern, which may change with time. Change in land use pattern may depend upon the stage of development of a community. Sometimes improper uses of land leads to long-term irreversible environmental problems like land degradation, landslide, soil erosion, desertification, and pollution. So. To make the best use of our land, we must be careful about the following. Land management practice must be efficient and eco-friendly. Appropriate land use control measures must be adopted. Land pollution and its exposure to industrial waste must be prevented or minimized. Ecological balance must be maintained along with industrial development. So today we had discussed about one of the natural resources that is land. And with this, we have come to the end of today's video. But we have few more resources to be discussed about. So I shall do that in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.